I think that the Better Boards Conference is the event of the year for us. Um, getting a whole lot of board members together as we're going to get over the next couple of days. And now with the CEO's day to day, it is a great concentration of decision makers in the not-for-profit sector. To have a stand here, promoting our board portal, um, but also to meet a lot of people. It's really important for me as a CEO um, to meet board members and um, CEOs. We're still following up the leads from last year. We are last year's event and I think this year's proving to be similar. Uh, a great opportunity for us to show people what we've got on offer, um, to talk about it with them, to see if it does solve their problems or to um, see what we can do next time. But it is a great opportunity to see a, a large number of people all with a very similar set of challenges um, and we hope that we can uh, pitch to them something that's useful. We had several people who were very interested in what we had. You know, a lot of our stuff is quite topical because of the mergers and so on that's beginning to sweep through the area and we've done a few of those so that's kind of interesting. How have you been finding the calibre of leads and um, people who've... Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's always a bit of a lucky draw because what you really need is for what you're there offering, there's people who have a need at the time. I think we've pulled a couple of nice ones out of the barrel today. It's been pretty good so far, looking forward to the next two days. Well, good. We, we found it as a reasonable amount of interest and the people are sort of come to talk about their issues and uh, at least from the vendor perspective, if I can put it that way. So, yep, it was, so far it was very good. There's only a small number of stands, so I think it's focused the interest as well. So, yeah, in summary, we're delighted. Yep, yep, yep. it's a very good response uh, today. People who uh, sort of find the same vibes, uh, what we're offering and uh, what their pain points are at the moment in their business and, uh, and the services that they provide to clients. Well, we think it's important at the Australian Charities and Not-for-Profits Commission that we get out and talk to people who are running charities and not-for-profits uh, and hear face-to-face -face what some of the issues are. Uh, and there's been a lot of change that's going on at the moment. So the new charities bills just passed Parliament. Government standards have only come into force this week. So we thought it was an opportunity to talk to people from uh, a wide range of organisations, really, about what some of the changes might mean for them and to try and give some reassurance if people are concerned. No, it's been fantastic. So we're delighted to be here. Thank you. We had quite a good morning tea session uh, and obviously people went away to the sessions after that but uh, uh, big diversity in the styles of people here so uh, that's, that's interesting. Often we don't get to see some of the smaller organisations so we thought we'd um, see what sort of engagement we could get at the, at the board level and the CEO level rather than go at and talk to these organisations at the uh, the operational level. So that's, I guess, one of the main reasons for attending this particular event. That's been good. Caught up with some clients and customers, so uh, that's always handy to, to do as well. We thought it would be a good opportunity to connect with board members around Association Online. We've had some good conversations with some people and some um, been up, able to demonstrate some of our software for some of the board members and uh, yeah, probably got two or three strong leads out of being here for a couple of days. Had some really good conversations with some of the delegates, so I think it's been very positive. Well, we uh, are moving into the not-for-profit sector and uh, we found it very uh, difficult to actually find decision makers without sort of actually sort of, and often if you try to cold call, it's very hard to get your message across. So we found that you could come here and actually have a have a face-to-face -face conversation and people um, you know, so once you actually build up that sort of relationship, you can then sort of you feel, feel quite comfortable then to call people. So this morning, I think we've already got about eight or nine meetings lined up. So, so we're quite happy with that. You know, it's easy to spend two thousand dollars on a on an ad on a trade magazine, but um, you don't always get results. So it's a lot easier to, to get in front of five hundred people. We're a full service firm of accountants and advisors. Um, we've had a really long-standing um, interest and passion for the not-for-profit sector and that's why we're here to support the sector um, during the conference this weekend.
I think it's been quite a diversity. So we've seen a lot of people from smaller organisations trying to get some professional development all the way up to some very sophisticated organisations. And it's been really good to see people being able to interact and share as well. The quality of the speakers and the program has been excellent. So it's a great opportunity for exhibitors to come and speak to the sector. It's been very positive. Everyone's loving to come and have a chat. Um, answer some of our questions on our surveys each day um, and enjoy our fruit smoothies and just talk to us about all the changes and reform issues. So it's been great.